Well, thank you for the opportunity to be here. And of course, as a veterinarian, cancer is an incredibly important disease for me as a practitioner. I have patients who are dealing with cancer right now. I have patients who've passed from cancer. But more than that, I'm a pet owner who's had several pets who have dealt with cancer and have succumbed to that terrible disease. So for me, cancer is one of the most important things that I deal with, both as a veterinarian and as a pet owner. So my role as a trustee of the Morris Animal Foundation, clearly one of the most rewarding activities that I've had as a veterinarian. Morris Animal Foundation has had an impact on so many different aspects of my life as a veterinarian. Now in the area of cancer and cancer medicine, knowing that we have the Golden Retriever Lifetime Health Study that is underway right now to look for, identify, and then leverage ways that we can identify cancer before it ever occurs, looking at the genome and looking at how genetics influence this most devastating disease we couldn't do this kind of work without Morris Animal Foundation playing such an important role. The future of cancer medicine, I think, is quite bright. We are opening new doors every day to better ways to diagnose early, better ways to treat early, and our treatments are evolving as well. But the real future for cancer medicine, I predict, is in the prevention, in identifying genetic markers in individual animals that set them up for this devastating disease and then to be able to intervene on their behalf so they never get sick in the first place. So Miss Kula is four and a half years old and I am very proud to report that she is in fact enrolled in the Golden Retriever Lifetime Health Study. It was such a rewarding part of my tenure as a trustee to launch that Lifetime Health Study. And Kula just recently had her annual update. I'm delighted to report all systems are go and she's perfectly healthy.